What's up guys, it's Cody B Pyrotechnics and I have another firework assortment here by Phantom Fireworks called the Battle of Yorktown. Something I have actually shot off when I was a kid. I believe when I first got this assortment, I was probably nine or 10 years old. So it's been a long time and I am so ready to revisit this again. Now prices have definitely gone up since I was 10 years old. This assortment right here retails for $150, okay? And if I'm not mistaken, there's just a lot of novelties in here and some fun stuff you can do on the 4th of July. Like maybe the kids will light this while the adults do the big stuff. Anyway, 150 bucks for this. I get it. You also get the buy one, get one free. So this is technically only $75, but some of these phantom fireworks stores will not let you buy one piece. You have to pay the full price and get two of them. So you're buying two regardless. Now, if you're a phantom premier member, I don't know how you become one of those. I think you have to spend a certain amount of money every year. But if you become a premier member, I believe you can get this for 50% off, which would just be the $75 plus tax. Uh, and that's not with the buy one, get one free. So anyway, without any further ado, we are gonna be taking a look at the Battle of Yorktown assortment and all the stuff inside is listed right there on the back. We're still going to unbox it for you. It's a little bit chilly out here tonight. The wind kind of picked up. So I've actually got a hoodie on in preparation for that. This is the small logo CBP pyrotechnic excellence since 2012 that's when i started this youtube channel and on the back we've got a nice yellow lettering that says pyro crew this is definitely a sweatshirt that you guys could wear on an open shoot night or maybe even you're setting up a fireworks show if it's something you're interested in definitely check out the description of this video because all of my merch is linked there so i'm gonna have to unbox this one on the ground um, if we go over to the pickup we are going to get some severe wind noises that'll mess up this video so you have to cut the cellophane off here from the bottom i believe it opens like a box style so let's get that top opened up and look at this so right off the bat we have an eight ball pack of roman candles uh, we've got an assorted rocket pack 12 pieces you get clustering bees glittering and flying fish so a nice little rocket pack. We're not gonna be doing the rockets. I'm gonna put everything aside that we won't be doing in this video. Um, we have some wolf pack bottle rockets. Wish I could do them, but they make a bit of a racket. So I'm gonna put those aside. Uh, we've got a bunch of these standard wolf pack bottle rockets. These are not the ones with the whistle though. So they just kind of go up and make a little pop. We got three packs of those. We have two packs of jumping jacks. Everybody knows what these do. And if you don't, um, then you really probably don't know much about fireworks. Uh, then we have toot and twirl. That's a seven shot classic little cake right there. We have this little pack of tubes. This is called galaxies. So these are single shot assorted shells. We'll get that open for you. Um, the little single shots, they're gonna look like that with a square red base. And these are the ones you light here, the fuse at the bottom, if I can find it. Fuse right there, nice little shell comes up into the air and explodes with a nice color burst. We will be lighting those off. Uh, we have the yellow jackets right here. This is sort of like a fountain aerial. Um, I don't think this goes high enough to be considered an aerial, but you can see right on the packaging, it says shoots flaming balls. So it does count as an aerial. Then we have 36 shot large happy planets. That's like your happy fireworks, little 200 gram cake. Um, we have a whole pack of these bombing planes. So do they go up and have a report? It looks like they do. So these are gonna spin up into the air and kind of sound like an M80. Anyway, they look like that. So lots of fun with these, but they're really unpredictable. Um, we are gonna light one of those. Uh, then we have the Wrath of Hydra fountain. So that one does not go up in the air and it looks like this. Um, we have baby sunflower, which is a lot like the small bees. Let me get this open. I got to stand. My knees are killing me. Um, but anyway, these are a lot like small bees, just a bit larger. Okay, so they do that. We are going to light one of those as well. Really hope this wind dies down. We got a 200, yeah, 200 strip of wolf pack firecrackers right here. Lots of noise. We'll be doing that. We have the copperhead mini shells. And you get six little artillery shells in that pack. Um, it does not do anything like that on the back. But we've done several videos on this kit on the channel before, so we won't be doing those. You get a pack of punks. 
I'm finding that a lot recently in assortments. They give you these. Usually they just hand them out at the fireworks store. Um, let's put these Roman candles over here. We have a small tank. Everybody knows what this does. Just kind of moves on the ground and shoots out a little popper. Pretty cool. We've got, oh my God, how many packs? We've got one, two, three, four, five packs of morning glories. These are just sparklers for those of you who don't know. Uh, then we have a Saturn battery. So a little 25 shot. Um, they're like whistling bottle rockets, but in a cake style. So it looks like that. And what is this? Crackling fountains assorted. So I've actually never seen this. You have four, you get four pieces and they look like that. This is just a little bright lightning, crackling fountain. Anyway, you get four of them. We'll be doing all four of those. Uh, you get some of these little M60 deals, which aren't like M80s. They're just like regular firecrackers. Put those aside. This is another pack of fountains. So number one fountain. And we'll open that up and pull one out. Show you the size comparison to the crackling one. So just about the same size, but these are like assorted effects and these I think are all crackling. Uh, we'll be doing those too. We have a daytime parachute. Actually, we have two of them. Um, it's almost nighttime, so really no point in doing these. We have two more packs of jumping jacks. Actually, I lied, we have three. We have another small tank. Uh, we are getting a whole pack, six pack of ground bloom flowers. They look like that. They're just larger jumping jacks. They spin on the ground a whole lot. And then a bunch of these like silver salute cracker deals. Um, these are a lot bigger than like your regular M60 will show you. Um, and actually what I'm going to do here before we end it, because uh, as you can see, we have unboxed the entire $150 assortment pack. Uh, we're going to compare these three that you get in the pack and see which one is loudest. So I've got a lighter. Um, I'm just going to light them and throw them over there. I'll step away from the fireworks for now. This is the small silver salute. Let's see what that does. Okay, not too loud. Now we have the larger silver salute. I think it's going to crackle at first. Yep, just a little crackling explosion. And now we have the classic red one, M98. Just like that. Throw it over there. All right, loudest of the three was definitely the red one. So now that you guys are aware of that, um, we've unboxed the entire thing. I'm gonna put the rest of these over in the do not light pile. Uh, don't worry. Eventually, we always end up lighting the stuff in the do not light pile on the channel later on. We just, the stuff we're not going to do tonight, look forward to that in future videos. These we've already done in a separate video. And without any further ado, I'm going to go get all this set up and we'll shoot it off for you. But as far as value, remember $150 for all this stuff. I always want to leave it up to you guys to determine whether or not an assortment is worth the money. But I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, what, with what we have here, this is not a $150 value. I get it, You're for 150 bucks, you have to buy two of these. So you buy one, get one free. But even at $75, I mean, I've seen assortment packs for $60 that have double this amount um, from Red Apple Fireworks. Like this is kind of ridiculous, but at the end of the day, it's still fireworks. And if this is all you've got available, then definitely pick it up. Okay, we have most all of the items from the Battle of Yorktown assortment set up now. I'm just gonna start lighting them off one at a time. So let's go ahead and start with the 200 strip of firecrackers. I think the fuse is over here. Uh, let's just hit it right to the quick fuse. Not too bad. I mean, they're pretty loud, but I would like them to go off way faster. Um, these were the fountains, the assorted fountains. I'm going to try to hit them all at once, see what happens. There we go. Whoa! 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 Okay. Oh, no. No. 
No, 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 those are not fountains. Oh my God. Holy crap, Batman. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Phantom fireworks fountains. Oh boy. Here goes uh, the little spinner guy. Let's see what it does. This is the baby sunflower. Oh, cool. Yeah, it didn't go too far, but I'm not complaining. Uh, now let's see the larger one. This one should have some sort of report. Nice, so it just crackles. All right, I'm still in shock from those fountains. <laughs> let's see two of the Roman candles. They are definitely bright. All right, now let's see four Roman candles. Extra bright. All right, we're gonna give the fountains a second shot. These are the four pack crackling, but after those first assorted ones, I don't know. Hey, thumbs up. Those actually worked. Nice. All right, let's try the yellow jackets. I've done these before. It's like a Roman candle. Oh, I didn't even think of that Saturn battery. It might go off. Nice. Okay, um, we should probably do that Saturn battery before we do anything else, because if these sparks travel over there, it wouldn't be good. Here's the Saturn battery. Not bad. All right, we're gonna try this seven shot toot and twirl. Uh, these things always tip over on me, so let's just pray that doesn't happen. Pretty nice effects in there overall for a small one. All right, let's try this Wrath of Hydra fountain. See how that performs. That was Wrath of Hydra. Uh, this is the one we're gonna save for the grand finale, but I am dying to see these single shot tubes. So let's just go ahead and start over here. Oh my God, those are actually good. I'm pretty impressed with these things. Um, I was thinking they were gonna be kind of quiet, but they break pretty hard. Oh yeah. 
Those are like mini canister shells. Let's see if we can get two here. Beautiful. That was probably the most impressive pieces out of the assortment right there. Minus the bottle rockets, because those are a lot of fun. Uh, now let's do the Happy Planets grand finale. Hopefully we get some uh, breaks on this one as well. Whoa. And it's almost like they quick fused that thing. Okay, either way, even though the assortment is kind of overpriced, I had a lot of fun doing this. So if you guys want to have the same amount of fun, you could totally pick it up. Um, be careful when you're lighting these ones though. You know, you just uh, you gotta be careful doing that. But either way, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you tomorrow.